started in Portsmouth and ended in Chesapeake, but a search warrant states how the passenger refused to get out when the ride was over, then hit the driver in the head when he almost lost consciousness. The two struggled. The driver says he saw a hammer and a gun, then said the passenger took off in his car. I'm not surprised. I mean, there have been myriad cases of drivers assaulted, drivers sexually assaulted, drivers robbed, beaten, had their cars stolen. Um, literally anything can happen when you're out there on the street at night by yourself. Jimmy Frost used to drive taxis and Uber. You had to keep in mind that I was the only person in the car that had been through a background check. God knows who could get in the car with you and have God knows what intention. With the driver here being up front, they're at a disadvantage with the passenger behind them. This is a dangerous lifestyle. This is a dangerous occupation. You're out there at night by yourself one-on-one, -on -one, and they've already got a tactical advantage. Lyft issued us a statement that read the behavior described is deeply concerning. As soon as we became aware of this incident, we permanently removed the driver's account from the Lyft community and have been in touch with the driver to offer our support. We have been actively assisting law enforcement with their investigation. Experts say 36% of adults in the U.S. have used a rideshare service. Drivers tell us that most people are nice, but that they have encountered issues with threats and problems when riders are drunk. And they can sometimes get around the safety measures that are in place. If they have an account that's deactivated for bad